Namaste. Welcome. What's up, guys? This is Jess Gershman. Um, today, I'm going to give you a little down and dirty. I call the Get the Kinks Out flow. So it's about 10 minutes. It's perfect to do when you get up in the morning, after you've traveled. It just kind of hits every area of the body, just kind of opening things up. So come with me. Let's begin in child's pose. So taking child's pose, either bringing the knees wide or together, allowing the head to rest down on the mat, let the arms extend from the body. Let the belly go. We're just gonna begin to come to our breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. Notice the sensations of the breath as it enters the body. Even noticing the sensations of the body against the mat. Beginning to deepen the breath. Deepening the inhales and exhales. every breath to bring our attention deeper into our body into the present moment. Establishing our breath at the beginning of our practice as a way to invite the mind into the here and now. ready to move, just simply allow the hands to come over to the left side of the mat, allowing the hips to sink to the right, wiggling the middle finger of the right hand, maybe just a little bit further beyond the left, hollowing out the right armpit and shoulder, feeling the side body stretch, big, big deep breath in, breathing into the right side body, and breathe out. Stay for another breath or two. Just with that mindful awareness, begin to walk the hands over to the right side of the mat, sinking the hips to the left. Now wiggling that left middle finger beyond the right, hollowing out the left armpit. Breathing into the left side waist and rib cage, softening on your exhale. And when you're ready, Moving the hands back into center, we'll come up to tabletop hands and knees. So aligning and stacking our shoulders above our wrists, our knees underneath our hips, just begin to find a cat and cow flow. So initiating the movement from the pelvis, just allowing the tailbone to tip up, allowing the ribs to fall, the belly to soften, the shoulder blades to squeeze along the back, maybe even gazing forward and up. Just taking another breath or two here. And then again, initiating the movement from the pelvis, tuck the tailbone, pulling the middle ribs, arching through the back, separating the shoulder blades, tucking the chin to the chest. Taking a breath here, exploring this kind of angry cat back. And then in your own time, with your measure of your own breath, just coming between the two postures. So inhaling maybe through cow and exhaling through cat. And then inviting those gentle little movements, those kind of micro adjustments, the wiggles from side to side that feel good in your own body as we work between these two postures. Notice any kind of sticky or gummy spaces that you find along the way in your spine. Maybe softening there, taking another little breath or two, just exploring. And then coming to a supported neutral spine, extending the right leg long out off the mat. Turn the right toes forward and keep a soft bend in the right knee. Just begin to bend the elbows, sinking the hips back toward the left heel. Maybe they go all the way or just finding sensation through the inner right thigh. Taking a few breath in here, feeling the stretch through the right groin and adductor. And then keeping the hips above the knees, bringing the fingertips underneath the face. The thumbs come together to touch. Just wave the left arm up as you breathe in, gazing at the left thumb, 
and then thread the needle. Take the left shoulder down, left temple comes down, left palm turns up. Tenting the right fingertips, feel the shoulder blades along the left side of the rib cage separate, feeling that stretch all the way through the neck and shoulder. Being mindful with the breath, continuing to breathe in and out through the nose. And then bringing the right hand back underneath the face, relifting the left arm, big full deep breath in. Left hand lowers down, come back to hands and knees, maybe take a few rounds of cat and cow, kind of washing that pose away. Then we'll do the second side, neutral spine, left leg comes out to the left off the mat, soft bend in the left knee, and think of extending the sits bones, those sitting bones right below the glutes, press them back as the heart pulls forward, feeling the stretch to the left groin and adductor. Just slowly, mindfully breathing here. Maybe the hips come all the way down to the heel. That feels better in your own body. Then coming back up, bringing the hands underneath the face, bringing the thumbs together to touch. This time, wave the right arm up. Take a full deep breath in here, gazing maybe at that right thumb. And then thread the needle, right shoulder comes down, right arm comes underneath the body. Using the left hand as a tent as you kind of press into the right, separating the right shoulder blade along the back. Just breathing in to the back body, full deep breath in and out. Left hand comes back underneath the face. Relift the right arm, take a big deep breath in. And then right hand returns, left knee comes down, take a few rounds of cat and cow. Maybe press back to child's pose this time. Extending the arms out a little wider, putting some pressure through the fingertips, lifting the forearms up the mat, off the mat, and then hollowing down the armpits. Forehead comes down to the earth. Taking another breath in here. As you exhale, tucking the toes underneath the bodies, bringing the hands in slightly so they're about shoulder distance apart. We're gonna to continue to warm up the hips. Stepping the right foot outside the right pinky finger. Pausing here for a moment, rolling the shoulder blades down the back. Nice and long through the spine. And then step the right foot back, keeping the toes tucked, sink the hips to the heels. So just warming up the hips, left foot's gonna step outside the left pinky finger. Again, nice long spine, shoulders down the back. Left foot returns, hips come to the heels. And we'll go one more time through the right and the left. Breathing in and out. So just warming up the hips before we make our way into downward facing dog. So keeping the toes tucked underneath, start to put some pressure into the hands and begin to hollow out the armpits. So really hammering down the triceps as they press down, begin to float the knees. And then as you continue to lift and put pressure, lift the hips up and back and find your downward facing dog. Maybe really generously bend the knees, shaking out the head, especially this first downward facing dog. So think of all the length through the spine. Again, really feeling the triceps press down, finding space between the shoulder blades, space between the ears and the shoulders. Then eventually walking your hands back to the back of the mat, bending the knees really generously, taking a bind of the elbows or any way to place the hands that feels comfortable and take a forward fold. Just breathing in and out slowly. Maybe bend and straighten the legs. Shaking out the head, we start to feel the back body all the way from the ankles and calves at the hamstrings into the glutes. Then releasing the hands when you're ready, walk your hands back to downward facing dog. Maybe this time pedaling out through the heels, big generous bend in the left knee, press through the right heel. And then bending through the left knee, or right knee, and pressing down through the left heel. Soft bend in both heels. Look forward in between the hands, step the right foot and wiggle it off to the right. Lower the left knee and bring the hands down, untuck the left toes. So just start to feel the groin. Again, inhale, look forward, shoulders down away from the back. Exhale, tuck the left toes, press the hands down, step the right foot back, downward facing dog. Left side, left foot steps up in between the hands, wiggle it a little off center to the left so you have room for your hips to come forward. Untuck the right toes, right knee comes down. Roll the shoulders down away from the ears. Take a full deep breath in here. And as you exhale, tuck the right toes, press the hands down, step the left foot back downward facing dog. Walk the hands back again once more to the back of the mat. Maybe this time you even grab 
behind the calves, grabbing opposite elbows, maybe straightening the legs just a little bit more, but protecting the low back. So keeping the belly on the thighs, keeping a nice generous bend in the knees, making this about the back of the legs and not about the low back. Releasing the hands down to the earth, walk back downward facing dog. Take a big generous breath in here and out. This time, step the right foot forward, in between the hands, wiggle it off to the right, lower the left knee, shin, top of the foot comes flat, press down to the right foot and lift the arms. So I want you to feel the stretch through the left side body, engaging the left glute, and think of the lift of the arms to lift through the side waist. So you back out a little bit out of that right thigh, but that you protect the low back. Pinky fingers spiral in, neck in line with the rest of the spine. Take a full deep breath in here. As you exhale, bring the hands down to the floor and begin to straighten the right leg, flexing the right toes. Again, getting in a little deeper to that right hamstring. We'll go between these two postures. So as you inhale, bend the right foot, or bend the right knee, lift the arms up, low crescent. And as you exhale, fingertips come down, straightening the legs, finding that quarter splits. Inhale, bend the right knee, lift the arms. Exhale, hands come down, straighten the right leg. Maybe exploring this for another breath or two. Maybe you even wanna walk the hands over toward that right thigh, getting kind of a stretch for that whole outer right leg. Full deep breath in and out. Squaring the hips, coming back around to the front, rebend the right knee, tuck the left toe, step back downward facing dog. We've got the left side to go. Left foot steps up in between the hands, Wiggle it a little off center, lower the right knee, shin top of the foot comes flat as you inhale, upright the spine, lift the arms. Allowing the lift of the hands to find length through the side waist, squeezing the right glute to feel that stretch all the way through the front right hip. Come back to the breath, always breathing in and out through the nose. As you inhale, reach a little longer, Exhale, let the hands travel down. We'll find that straightening of the left leg this time, working through that whole back of the left leg stuff. Flexing the toes or softening through the ankle. Again, we'll work between those two postures, bending the left knee. Inhale, lift the arms, big reach. Exhale, lower the fingertips, straighten the left leg. Inhale, bending the left knee, big reach. This time we'll stay as we exhale, straightening that left leg, taking a breath or two here. Again, maybe you want to walk the fingertips over, up and over that left thigh so you get a little bit of sensation for that la outer left hip. Kind of getting the kinks out, working through the legs and the hips. When you're ready, we'll be re-bend the left knee, hands plant. Step back downward facing dog one last time walking the hands back for our last forward fold. Taking a bind maybe, so you take your peace fingers on that big toe, generously bend the knees, let the shoulders round forward. Using the strength of the biceps, pulling yourself in half, just so you feel some sensation on the back of the thighs, to your degree, allowing that forward fold to feel good in your own body. Slowing down the breath. Maybe even think of elongating the exhales as we find our finishing postures. Full deep breath in and out. Releasing the bind of the big toes, walking the fingertips forward to bring the knees down and wide. Find child's pose, forehead lowers down. Maybe even turning the palms up. Reconnecting with the breath. Taking a few breaths, maybe an audible exhale, sighing it out, breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Slowly coming up to seated, resting the hands somewhere along the body or in the center of your heart. Namaste. So this is a great flow you can do anytime. It's quick and dirty, in and out, just to get the body moving, noticing how you feel, working the kinks out. Enjoy.